everybody! How we doing? So, I'm doing something a little bit different for this video. I don't know where I got this idea from. I think it was actually from a long time ago. Someone mentioned that I should do a, like, reaction to old videos. And I was like, you know, the moon's in Leo. So I get real nostalgic and all of that. Also, if I have purple lipstick on my teeth, just ignore that. <laughs> I didn't check the mirror before I turned all this on. But the moon's in Leo. And when it's in Leo, I tend to feel really nostalgic. And I haven't done like a, a react video to my old videos. So I thought that would be fun to do. It's a Friday night. It's October 29th. I've got a bottle of wine here, the Angeline Pinot Noir, courtesy of my sister from the last time she was here. We had some leftover bottles of wine that she bought for the family. So she left this here for me. And I'm not much of a drinker anymore. I mean, I guess you could say I kind of used to be. I maybe have like a glass or two of wine once every three months or so, but I figured that this was kind of like a special occasion. And even though it's not, you know, like the anniversary of my YouTube channel or anything like that, this just seemed like something fun to do on a Friday night because what does anyone even do on Friday nights anymore? <laughs> So if you've been here since the beginning, this is probably going to be a real treat. I'm actually low-key nervous about it because I feel like I'm going to be cringing a lot. But I felt like laughing, and so I thought, why not laugh at myself? <laughs> Grab a mug of coffee. I swear this is clean. Or tea. Or join me with a glass of wine. A we're off to a really good start. This is why I have an old comforter on my bed. Perhaps I should have poured the wine before I did this. So I also have a ring light here, but it's so bright and my eyes are really sensitive. And I think the brightness from my screen, I hope is going to be bright enough for me to do this. So I've got my wine and I think what we're going to do is we're going to go way back, like way back. Is there a way that I can do this faster or am I going to have to scroll? Can I search? I know there's a fast way to search for my videos in the YouTube studio creator. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're just going to scroll. We're going to see... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had Vlogmas videos. I forgot about those. Oh my, okay, okay. Okay, we made it. That didn't take too long, did it? So I haven't really thought of like how I wanted to do this. I think I'm just gonna kind of like randomly pick videos. So, oh my gosh, we have to do the one. Maybe I'll do like two or three each year or something like that, just depending on how long this ends up being. And I don't think we're gonna watch like the whole video. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through some of these. So let's click on the very first video I ever posted, which was six years ago in an apartment that, oh my gosh, that's the only video I think I filmed in that apartment before I moved into my house. So let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Hey guys, Kristen Martin here, author of the Alpha Drive series. Today I just want to give you guys an update as to where I am with my writing and also um, talk a little bit about writer's block because the it's camera it's is so out of focus. <laughs> This is the this is so blurry. Entirely, maybe not avoid it entirely, but if you do get stuck, it's a good way to pull yourself out of it. So we'll get started. Also, this shirt really makes me feel like a pirate. I know that is so random, but okay. So I have been working diligently on the music is way too loud. I can't even hear what I'm saying. Called the Order of Omega. Working very hard at that. Trying to do the whole a thousand words a day thing. 
Um, to hopefully get it done in around 70 days, two months, two and a half months. It is proving to be challenging though because I'm still holding down my full-time job. I'm about to graduate with my mm. master's degree from Texas A&M in industrial distribution. So I've been trying to balance my work and school schedule. Okay. So that that's a great that's great where I paused it. Oh my gosh. So you see everybody, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Also, I apologize if you can hear my computer. I think this takes a lot of RAM to do this. So I hope that that's not too loud and that it'll calm down. I made sure to do like a whole clean my Mac situation before I did this, but I can tell the computer is working pretty hard in the background. Okay. So that was, um, that was fun. Should I do the second one? Book hauls, helpful tools for writers. What is this? Today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, maybe take a break from the how to, I guess, advice section of my channel. And I First of all, my hair, those are extensions. That is not my real hair. And second of all, why is, <laughs> why is the video cropped? <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this already, but my south note is in Virgo, so I can be overly critical, overly harsh when it comes to myself, like really judgmental, so. That I've discovered for readers and writers alike. So I wanted to share a couple of these just in case anyone out there found them interesting. So let's get started. The first app is Goodreads. And I know this is- Boo! A app. <laughs> Immediately no. Immediately no. <laughs> I am not a fan. I am not a fan of Goodreads. Also, look at that facial expression. I'm really rocking it. Really rocking it. Okay, so that was exciting. Let's see this preparing for NaNoWriMo because that's happening soon. Love the typewriter intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me here again today. I apologize for <laughs> my attire, but I... I don't know why... <laughs> You guys, I can't. I don't know how long I'm going to last through this. What am I wearing? <laughs> okay. I still have that North Face jacket, actually. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. So, first of all, the angle, <laughs> the angle of this video is so low. And those are cute glasses. I like my glasses. The lipstick's cute, but, like, who wears <laughs> red lipstick with... A North Face jacket. Like, these are just two conflicting energies. Oh. Wear a jacket. Maybe I'm just excited for fall. Who really knows? But anyways, it is officially the month of November, which means that it is the month of NaNoWriMo. Sure which is. Which is National Novel Writing Month. Speak up, girl. If you don't know Come what on. NaNoWriMo is, it is basically, I don't want to say a competition because that sounds bad, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. These, these first videos that I ever did, they're so cringe to me because I was just learning. I was learning how to use iMovie. I didn't know that the music was so loud. I remember that was like one of the hate comments that I got all the time, but really I think it was just people trying to help me and say, hey, girl, you're like so soft spoken and the music is way too loud and we can't hear a word you're saying. So, okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm also excited to see, first of all, all of the different intros that I did over the years, that I had over the years, and also my many different hairstyles because I feel like my hair was different styles, different colors. I think I've always had the fringe though. I've always had the bangs. That is something that has not gone away. Okay. Oh my gosh. The alpha drive release day. Okay. Let's just see. Let's see if I'm more lively. Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's nice to see you again. Today is a very exciting day because it is the release day for my debut novel, The Alpha Drive. This little guy right here. <laughs> 
That means you can go to Amazon right now and purchase it in paperback or ebook. I'll make sure to put the links down below for you guys. And in honor of release day, I thought that I would do a video about the top five questions that I've gotten regarding the Alpha Drive. So here goes. All right, the first question we have is, what is the Alpha Drive about? Well, the synopsis is available on my website at... Okay, yo, heads up, heads up. So this is so funny because I think, I don't even think my channel had like a hundred subscribers at this point. If I remember correctly, yeah, definitely. It was like very, very low subscriber amount. Hardly anyone like following me on Instagram. I feel like Instagram wasn't even that popular yet. So me being like, these are the most common questions I get about the Alpha Drive. I didn't, no one asked me anything about the Alpha Drive. <laughs> no one knew that this book existed. So this was me just trying to, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like this was me just trying to garner some kind of like, I don't know, support, attention, like something, something about it. So, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't. I really hope that these get better. It's just really, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And this is also why I don't really do like sit down videos anymore, because I think I just have in my mind that like just it's so cringe, right? Oh, here I am. I'm talking about balance. Okay, so yes, let's let's watch one of my oldest vlogs because I think this is one of the first. I know these two are the first vlogs that I did, but here's one where maybe I've had a little bit more practice. So let's see like what the B-roll looks like. <laughs> I guess I like to do a little bit of a vlog, show you some of my day and then maybe do, you know, a book haul or a writing advice video or just talk about something and keep it real. So Keep it real. You, day you guys, you can just see how miserable so I am because I was working a job that I hated so much. It's like kind of like hard to watch, you know. I still eat that for breakfast. Raisin toast. It's my absolute favorite. Still is. And because it is 7.45 in the morning. Oh my I gosh, I've had that Keurig for six I years? I just got these. I've heard great things about Shut the up right now. Oh my gosh, that's the same coffee. I still drink that. Okay. That's like a trip. Oh, peep the engagement ring. It's a beautiful ring. Clearly. Clearly not. <laughs> I have that. I still have that mug, too. My mom got me that mug one year for Christmas. My Grinch mug. I'm probably going to blind everyone today because I don't know if you can see this, but this is like, I'm literally like a non-colored. I must be filming um, on my phone. Got my fresh face on. I oh, I'm trying to find some B-roll. I'm too lazy to drive to Target, so we're gonna check out Walmart and see if Oh my we can gosh, find some the Walmart it's completely repainted and Yay. redone. I forgot that it used to look like that. Is this my B roll? <laughs> There's no music and I'm just like, here, watch me haphazardly pick out seven different boxes well, of Christmas a lights. Shopping trip. I do love though how I go into Walmart or Target. What you know, is my what, what is this? On one or two things and then I end up with a whole cartload of stuff. But hey, okay, that's just typical. <sighs> oh, typical dear. Walmart Target, right? The sun is so bright right now. So Put some sunglasses on. Which is wonderful because the post office opens at nine. So that is where I'm headed right now. So I can mail. What time did I wake up? Obviously, I should have brought sunglasses. Oh, I didn't bring I did sunglasses. sunglasses. I'm just going to keep. I is there any B roll like at all? Away. I've had my Roomba for six here. years. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I feel like there are so many parts. I really hope this is not complicated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> little Denali. Lacey, <gasps> little Lacey. Demon cat. I don't know if you guys have seen, ooh, Wally, but I feel oh, like I have come a back. miniature Wally. Come back, Lacey, come back. I'm so excited it's charging. Lacey really doesn't know. 
What do you think about it? I don't like that your eyes do that. It's scary. Oh my gosh, when she could still wear her collar. <gasps> Oh my dog gosh, it's so there's Like a demon dog. Yeah, what camera am I using? Why do my why does everything look possessed? Oh, look at that little mouse icon. Wow. Okay. Well, I wish I could have seen Denali. There's gotta be there's gotta be one where I can see her when she's itty bitty. Okay. Alright, so that's enough, I think, for five or six years ago. Let's see. 204,000 views? Since when? Since when? This intro! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And Look how clear it is! I'm answer a viewer's question in more detail, which is, how do you come up with ideas for Girl stories? upgraded her for camera! Writers, ideas randomly come to them, and then they'll write them down in a notebook, and they'll start creating subplots and weave everything together. To what is this jacket, though? Stories. This is a very scandalous writers, jacket. can actually be really tough. Also, Many look at my eyeliner. Oh my gosh. I have not worn have eyeliner on done. my lower Does the lid. Does really need another Maybe, but only you can put a truly different and unique spin on it. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's that your story ideas need to be original. Don't try to copycat other writers and their plot lines because guess what? You'll get to writing and basically realize that you're rewriting what has already been written. And if it's already been written, then it's probably already been read. I would like to correct myself because as I've been doing this for six years, all storylines in one form or another have been done before. Like if you think of themes and specific plot lines, like they've all pretty much been done before. There are just unique twists and the and subplots and things like that. And it's your voice that makes the story. So I would disagree with this version of myself. That originality is something that... I don't know. It's kind of like, of course your idea is going to be original. Because you came up with it. I don't know. <laughs> I know what I'm I know what I'm trying to say, what I what, what I'm trying to have come across in this video, but yeah, the delivery. So it's worth brainstorming some new ideas. You may be thinking, but Kristen, haven't all ideas been done before? Boy meeting girl, an alien species invading Earth, a dystopian setting where a hero tries to overthrow the bad guys, good versus evil, etc. And you know what I tell you? That you're right. It's all been done before. But what makes okay. your story unique and different is the spin that you put on it. Oh, there all she is. That make the there she is. The connections between your characters stand out are actually really important. Okay. So I can see why this video did well. It was one of my older videos that did the best. It may have actually, I haven't like looked at my analytics or anything. It may have been the one that's done the best out of all my videos, but sorry, I have to, I can't, there we go. <laughs> we'll be like this. <laughs> I can't pause it when I'm like, huh, but I can see why this one did, did better because the camera is close to my face. It's not really at a weird angle. The background is just kind of like basic, but it, it's not messy. So it's organized and clean. And then wearing the black, wearing the outfit I'm wearing with the makeup that I'm wearing and having my hair done. I really like stand out. There's like a lot of contrast here. And then also I have more personality in this video. This may be the first video where I started to feel more comfortable in front of the camera and allowed myself to have more facial expressions and be a bit more quirky. So that's interesting. All right, so what what year was that? Where were we at? Wait, where did that video go? Oh, here it is. Okay, that was five years ago. 
Oh my gosh, should we look at my first author event? Oh my gosh, and there's another one here. Oh wait, let's do LeviosaCon. Oh, the city in the background. July 7th, 2016. What's up, guys? It is Thursday, July 7th. It is the day that I leave for Las Vegas to go to LeviosaCon, and I'm super, super excited. As you can see, my desk is a little bit... Oh my gosh, I only had two bookshelves at the time, and I didn't have my L-shaped desk. To LeviosaCon. So it is about, it's almost one o'clock right now, actually. So we're going to have... Oh, my poor hair is so damaged. My goodness. Probably pretty soon. We're flying out of Hobby Airport, which is a little ways away from where so we I think live. Jonathan, so yeah, he's in this one house. with Possibly me. I just want to see, like, did I do B-roll? Oh, wait, there might be some so B-roll. Make sure we have plenty of okay. time, but I am so looking forward what? to the <laughs> Valley Resort, I think is what it's called, for the conference. So stay tuned for more footage. <laughs> This is my second event. The music. <laughs> oh, Severus Snape. I clearly didn't really know how to hold the camera still. I was still learning the art. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, the art of B-roll. It's... It's important because I feel like you can't even really focus in on anything. Oh, that's because Jonathan was taking the B-roll. <laughs> this one got quite a few views. Top mistakes new writers make. But let's go into... This one has 25,000 views. My typical NaNoWriMo day. And again, since we're getting close to NaNoWriMo... Oh, there's also NaNoWriMo Diary up here. <gasps> Four years ago, five years ago. Let's just see what this one, let's see what's going on here. Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.30 in the morning. It's really early. <laughs> I can't even hear what I'm saying. I do remember someone left a comment and they were like, there's no way she just woke up with makeup on. I'm like, no shit. I was insecure back then. Like, cut me some slack. It was so unacceptable back then to, like, show your face without makeup. I feel like only until TikTok has it become more of this thing where people just, like... All right, we got some B-roll. sweet. Oh, my gosh, her face is so dirty. What? She used to dig holes. Oh. Oh. Oh, the animals. It must be early. Oh, I have my bullet journal. Either you run the day or the day runs you. I have that written in my office. Oh my gosh, are we in my office right now? I'm here in my office. I'm sorry that I did not film in the car, but it was really dark when I drove to work this morning, so it would literally be. Oh my gosh, look at how profesh I am. What? I can't even hear what I'm saying, so we're gonna. Oh, look, I'm typing. What am I doing? What's happening? So, this was my first office, and then I was moved to an even bigger office, and then I was moved to a smaller office as a salesperson. But this is why I was able to get so much writing done in my office because. My computers faced me, and then I had the door. All right, so super quick <laughs> writing update. Since I so writing. no one knew. Like, if I was just that typing, that it looked like I was just typing Starbucks emails, but I was I, I was writing my books. All right, let's see what this NaNoWriMo diary. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay, here we go. I sound pretty manly right now. Oh, my voice. My voice is going away. I think. That sounds terrible. But it is a little bit. 
Did I do any B-roll? Or am I just like, oh wait, I think I saw an animal. The audio is just so quiet. Tell me guys, like, if if my audio is so quiet in my videos, I would love to know. Because I was thinking about getting one of those little microphones that I can, like, put on my shirt. Um, But I feel like the audio... Is better because I use it. I use a different editing software as well. Not that iMovie is bad or anything, but I tend to use Final Cut Pro now. And I think I can't remember too if I was still if some of the footage I would take would be on my phone. And it was definitely an older phone. It was probably like an iPhone five or something like that. So maybe no offense if you have an iPhone five, by the way. <laughs> Oh, uh, these Vlogmas ones are cute. Maybe I'll do a react to, like, I'll do another reaction video if you guys like this one or if you've had fun kind of, like, coming along with me on this little journey. Maybe I'll do a Vlogmas reaction video. Okay. It looks like I started to get more aggressive with the... With my cover art and, like, the font that I was using. Ugh, I can already tell this section is where my mental health was really starting to go downhill. I can see it, especially here. I can see it in my face. Like, that is, those are dead eyes. Dead eyes. Like, so dead inside. Let's just pick, we're just gonna pick a random one. Um... What's this looks like this looks like fun. I what was I doing here? July twenty seventh, twenty seventeen. Happen and work. Oh my gosh. I look so different. I look like a so spice girl. <laughs> over social media. So I would love for you to follow me on Twitter, Ugh, Instagram, Twitter. and Snapchat. <laughs> I will link those all right here so you can go find Snapchat. This is when two thousand seventeen. Anyways, this Snapchat Rantley was still a thing. Intro. It is Saturday, July my Fitbit's not working. Hold on. <laughs> July 22nd. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'm kind of getting a little bit of a late start, but I'm trying to embrace this. It is really hot here in Texas since we are in July. I think what I was trying to say is that I'm trying to embrace more of like my wavy, curly hair, like not having to straighten it because I straightened my hair for so many years. And so obviously you can't really tell, but obviously in recent videos you can tell what my hair journey has become and what it looks like now so i swear you guys this is like watching a completely different person and when you go outside you just feel like your clothes are sticking to you That's my hair Texas. is naturally frizzy and wavy and curly so when i walk outside it just poofs right back up so oh there's some let's get to some b-roll <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's what I had the brick wallpaper in the so Somehow it is entryway. already 3 o'clock. I really don't know when that happened. Apparently, I, I took like my I lipstick off. I still go here weekly. Mm. Look at this B-roll girlfriend. She speeds up, she slows down. She speeds up, she slows down. Don't tell me, let it go. Okay, it's still a little wobbly, but... And that was, like, on... Kind of on tune with the beat. This song. I forgot about this song. I still do that very often. Alrighty, so there we are. It's nice and full. But there are my lovely books. Oh, I only have three published at the time. Hope someone picks them up and Now I have them. nine. Little packages! I do miss that. I miss getting packages from you guys. I still get some, but I used to get so many. I used to love writing letters back to you and... Oh my gosh, that is so, that's so precious. I forgot that I used to do 
P.O. Box hauls. Maybe I should bring that back. Would you guys write me letters <laughs> if I brought the... If I brought P.O. Box hauls back, because that was so much fun. Uh, this was the vlog where I saw my books on the bestsellers list on Amazon. That's going to make, that'll make me cry. So this will make me cry too. That was my, like this whole time period was like my life falling apart. But I really, uh, I really just put on a. I want to say a brave face, but this is just me masking. I was just masking, like, the whole time. All right. So, I think... So, that was 2017. So, let's kind of jump to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how long I've been filming for. Okay, I had to scoot over a little bit so that... I could plug my computer in because I didn't realize how much battery, like my battery drains so, oops, drains so fast while I'm doing this. 2018. Okay. Yes, please. We don't know. I remember I like was so, I don't know, about this playlist, like the music for my book tour video playlist like that was such a huge thing for me oh yes i love the sound of sirens oh i remember this I still have these around my neck. What is life right now all right so we've got red hair i remember this i oh everything gosh, went wrong so the first leg like of the, the trip on my book tour to get to california I like love. my shirt I tour my bags like didn't arrive yeah so this is we'll just skip past this because i think this is me talking about all of that yum that looks amazing good morning guys it is thursday may 24th it's about nine o'clock in the morning i slept so incredibly well last night as you just saw service. It's a veggie scrambled omelet of sorts with some potato hash browns and it's really really good. Oh it's cloudy. 60 yeah it looks degrees. good. It's it making me hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna refill my glass of wine. <laughs> which is perfect because that's pretty much when I start heading over to the last bookstore for my first book tour. Oh! I've just been coordinating this morning already. You guys have no idea when they emailed me back to let me know that they'd love to have me at the last bookstore for my event. I did the happiest of happy dances when I got that email. Like, I was over the moon excited because that was the one location that I just really really wanted to go to so and I'm so happy I got to do it oh that was a nice little transition there back and forth oh my god where's my camera it was so far away <laughs> It is six o'clock in the evening. Whoa, I'm so nervous and so excited. I just finished getting ready and packing up my, my bags was so for the things red. That I to bring since I am oh my walking goodness. to the last bookstore. It's about a 12 minute walk from here, so it's not too far. But real quick, let me show you guys my outfit details because there's actually a full length. I do miss again, those were extensions. All right, so this is what so. I'm going with. Tonight, it feels very L.A. I love that <laughs> I outfit still. But the entire outfit is actually from Forever 21, so it was very, very affordable. And then the shoes are Converse. They are Chuck Taylors, high tops. But yeah, this is my outfit for my first book tour stop. I got here a little bit early. I'm looking around. Oh, this, this is place my intro. Is I can't even handle it. Oh, the nostalgia. <laughs> Like, I, I just remember with the B-roll, just having my camera, I made sure to get everywhere at all of my stops early so that I could, especially here, because I just knew this was going to be like a once-in-a-lifetime thing where I went to the store. Look at the shelves. Look at the color coordination. Look at all the books.
This was so magical. This whole tour was so magical. Oh my god. They try to bring your suckers down, singing louder than they cry. By the way, if you're still here and you were here at this stop, and that meant so much to me that you all came. And I loved it because it was such a close, intimate group. Like, I felt like we could just really talk, you know? Calgary! Oh, I miss Canada so much. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, May 26th. And as you just saw, Holy moly, you guys, April, my hair is so I am long. I'm in Calgary. I didn't film anything Let's just yesterday get some except for getting through the airport because I'm B-roll. Oh my gosh. That was the most beautiful drive of my whole entire life. I've been to Calgary like four, five times. How have I never driven up here? What is wrong with me? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab all my stuff. Cafe Books is just a couple of Cafe steps books. down that away. So I'm going to grab all my stuff and then go ahead and head Those inside. Those look like it's 1223, so I am here a little bit early. So maybe I'll just kind of like meander a little bit or drop off my stuff at Cafe Books and then kind of walk around for a minute. But I could not have asked for better weather, could not have asked for a better location. This is... I just can't process thoughts or form words right now for how beautiful it is here. <laughs> There's Krista! And Sammy! Ray, are you in here too? There's Ray. Oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I miss you three so much. Just heads up. And Michelle driving so far to come see me. That was amazing. <laughs> Say anything <laughs> right. Sure. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Emerald. Uh, and some other fun stuff. So it's got too, so really emotional. Awesome. My goodness. <sighs> By the way, if you've never been to you Canada, to Lake. you need you need to go there immediately. It's amazing. It's beautiful, and the people there are top notch. Top notch, so friendly. <sighs> Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, May 27th. I've okay, let's just see. Oh, days. yeah. So but we'll just watch Chicago real quick. Oh, what is happening right now? Okay, well, these ads are going to give me a second. Whoa. To get my life together here, I'm going to use my gloves. Hey guys, I'm here. Guess where I am? I think this stop, besides BookCon, BookCon's always a big turnout. But Chicago, you guys really showed up. 
He really showed up. It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel like when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I'm gonna drive the first oh. car Nothing can break me Oh no, nothing can break me That was so much fun because I got to... I see you back there. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I got to see my family, too, that I hadn't seen in a while in Chicago. And Erin, best sister ever, best sister ever for helping me with just, like, unpacking all the boxes, setting up that book con. Oh, this is going to make me cry, too. All right, here we go. Dad. Yeah, I forgot. My dad came to this one, too. <sighs> Dude, the music, again, I just, like, hand-selected these songs. This whole vlog is such a vibe. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a trip. What a trip. Let's just see what else. This is where I'm like looking at the cover art. This is where I got really like aesthetically pleasing or was trying to at least with. Yeah. With my cover art and like my Instagram. I remember I thought this was like so important. Oh, yeah, this was that whole time period where everyone decided to attack me. So that was that was great. <laughs> but this is where I came back and like rebranded and really got into the spiritual stuff. I was already into the spiritual stuff, but just started to be more open about it, I guess you could say so. Yeah, because I posted this, well, it doesn't tell you the months, but I remember because this was in June, and then these didn't happen, I don't think, until August, so I took the whole summer off. That was one of the toughest summers of my whole entire life. Like, it was, it was rough. So, just a reminder to, like, that cancel culture is toxic, and to be kind, because you don't ever know what people are going through in their lives and there's something to be said for compassion about like when it comes to being human and the human experience and making mistakes so oh so this is quarantine edition virtual book signing so this was like around 2020 were a lot of these around 2020 I feel like some of these are just like a bit more recent so I don't know if they're gonna be I don't know if they're going to be as, oh my gosh, my Starseed video has 40,000 views. Okay. Yeah, and then we get to my more recent, my more recent videos. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that is going to conclude this stroll down memory lane. I feel like I don't really want to get into the all the like pandemic videos because then we just get more into the recent stuff but it was fun to go back and watch those first videos were so so cringe <laughs> but
But I kind of like that we left it left it off a little bit at the book con or my book tour vlog because that I don't know watching that it always lifts my spirits but it makes me feel really nostalgic and also kind of sad because I miss traveling so much I used to travel all the time that was like one of the main things that I did every single year and of course with the pandemic it just that's been more difficult but that is going to conclude this reaction video to my old videos. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know, and perhaps I will do another one of these over like for Vlogmas, maybe over December. I'll kind of do like a reaction video for the Vlogmas videos, which I did. How many years ago were those? Four years ago. I haven't done Vlogmas in four years. So if you want me to do another reaction video, maybe I'll do it in December and we'll do it with some of these Vlogmas videos because I feel like some of these might be kind of funny to watch. So again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!